<laughs> hey everyone, Wanderfot here, and welcome to Nova 111. He peeked in from the side a little bit, but I guess he's up there too. Dupli- yep, there he is. Get out of here. Alright, press space to begin. Oh shoot, is this going to be like WSD? Yeah. Alright. I'm- wow. So this game is a turn-based tactical RPG. Uh, oh shoot, that must be like my health. I'm almost dead. This makes me think very solidly of Sproggy Wood, actually. Both visually and, you know, the, the, the move, the... I guess low animation style, but still, anyway. Let's pick this guy up. Scientist rescued. Great Scott, I'm alive. Thanks for rescuing me. Doctor Science. <laughs> Alright. Uh, this thing is falling apart. I'll see what I can fix. So I don't even know what I am. Am I a robot? Am I a spaceship? I'm not entirely clear on that. Oh, this is a spaceship. It says, pilot your trusty orange vessel through mysterious and foreign planets. Okay. So apparently we have to fix space-time and stuff? Alright. Oh, shoot. He had a dialogue there that I missed because I was looking at the, uh, the press sheet. Do I take damage from ramming into these things? No, but it makes really funny noises. Ah! Alright, let's keep going. Oh, man. I do have to say, I enjoy how fast you kind of can zip around here. Wonderful! Everything's ship shape. All right, so we're up to four four ticks, and the weird glitchiness has gone away. Good, that was gonna get annoying. Let's get out of here. <laughs> oh, it, it even uh, tracks how many turns you've taken. It's going to judge me for the amount of times that I just bash my face into walls. All right, we must rescue the rest of the science team. Mmm, the science team. Ugh, rock, nothing disgusts me more than rocks. Bump against rocks to attack. All right. So far, so simple. Show those lily-livered ro rocks, what for? Mr. Science, I'm not I'm not an expert here, seeing as I'm just an inanimate flying spaceship. Well, I guess an animate flying spaceship, but still. Hope this ship isn't a rental. <laughs> but, um... It's pretty ridiculous that you hate rocks anyway. A fellow scientist, rescue them and let's get out of here. Boink. Scientist rescued. My saviors, thank you so much. Oh, so this guy is Victor Cherub. Oh, dead end. Much like my career as a d geologist. Well, that would explain his uh, dislike for rocks. <laughs> okay, the humor the humor so far is good. The art is great. Let's turn up the music a little bit. An exit portal. Let's get out of here. Quick sharp. The the writing is is nice. And I, I like the just tiny little dialogue thing that top right. I'm curious about... Oh, can't get through that. Unless I get an upgrade, maybe. Um, it seems an accident has created strange portals between... Bump enemies to attack. What in the dickens is that? Crash through it with the ship. Kabam! Okay, that's concerning. Bump enemies to attack. We did it! So are you gonna, like, heal me? Maybe we study their behavior. We can dodge their attacks. Oh, you know what? This probably... This... Okay, so this is... This is, uh, Crypt of the Necrodancer style, but without the rhythm. Yeah, that's what this reminds me of movement wise. Anyway, oh bother, shouldn't have said anything. Let's make like an atom and split. Okay, can I can I press space? There we go. There we go. Perfect. Yeah, so if I need to pass time, I can't press space. Oh control. Control is uh pass time, so space is probably used for something else. Press control to wait for a turn. Okay, so I, f I figured it out beforehand. The alternative is also just bashing yourself into a wall, which works equally well for mysterious reasons. Okay, yeah, so the music is really good. Let's just wait for them to come say hi. Perfect. Yeah, so th this reminds me a lot of Crypt of the Necrodancer. Maybe not as deep yet. Anyway, the exit. The ship's in one piece. Cool. You never know what may be hiding in the shadows. Can I bust that up? Kinda can. Okay, so yeah, yeah, it's like, uh, it feels like a tactical roguelike, I just have no idea how much, how much of, uh, those mechanics are in there. Anyway, what is this? Collect treasures to increase max health. Okay, that is excessive. Oh, it's like heart piece. My goodness, you find some, found some treasure. Okay, so if I get four of those, that gives us an extra container. Not the official geologist term, of course. I'm simplifying it for you. Okay. Bump, move, stab. It works. All of this actually works quite well. I'm just very curious. Restore health with nanites. Don't care. Looks like a nanite booster. We should grab it. I mean, does it do anything for me? Nope. 
That was kind of currently a waste because I'm too good at this game to take damage. I assume after a certain point. Okay, the Nanites it contains will help to get get the ship back into tip-top shape, which is meaningless because our ship is is in tip-top shape. Yeah, dingus. Okay. Safe at last. Trippin' low style. Let's just back up. Yeah, we got this. This is easy enough. I'm sure after a certain point this is gonna get a lot harder. I'm hoping I could get some like upgrade system or something like that just to make things just a little bit more interesting on my end. If it's all just uh, bump and dodge and stuff. Can't see us, but it won't get through these vines. Oh, it can see us, but it won't get through the vines. Nothing as feeble as vines would stop mother though. <laughs> all right. You're an interesting fellow. She was always a rather strong-willed woman. Oh, you can't see me. There we go. That's funny. Do we have treasure up here? There's got to be a reason to have come this direction. Strange signals on the radar near our location. Be careful. So he leaves, like, little explody mines that might actually exist in real time? I don't know. Anyway, let's go check out this area, seeing as this actually seems like the actual secret. Here we go. What is this? A secret area. Well spotted. Scientist rescued. Tell me what year is it? It's a Welsh Corgi. That is a really nicely painted Welsh Corgi. Okay, so currently, as far as I can tell, gameplay itself is kind of simple. Hopefully, hopefully it gets deeper. Hopefully, hopefully we get like a gun or special abilities or something. That blinker is a tricky lady. Okay, so that's what we're going to call it. Blinkers. Hopefully the blinker won't uh, come to say hi. Blinky bombs have no respect for turns. Ow. Okay. Well, he took a little bit of damage there, but no, no big deal. Okay, so that's interesting. There will be certain, there will be certain real-time issues here and there. Let's see. So I am behind Linkob's stealthy get in rank 33. Wow. Well, then again, I don't really care about rankings. Okay. Go right to advanced. So that's the first one. New world, brave new world. I don't know what the symbols are. Apparently, a lot of people have played this game already. Don't know. Probably a bunch of beta testers and stuff. Not entirely sure. Anyway, platonic plateau. So overall, gameplay is super simple, but I do like the the idea of you know kind of dynamic combat of like you know turn-based dodging and stuff. I had to do it in Grimrock, but it always felt awkward. In this case, it seems like it's a good idea. Or, you know, it actually works fairly well. What is this thing? Got some kind of gel stuck to our ship. Okay. Oh, I can bump those intentionally. Interesting. I also don't know if those rocks behave on a turn basis or not. It's an interesting question. Okay, so they don't they don't behave based off of conventional time. But that in and of itself has its own uses. Because I could potentially set one off and use it to kill an enemy. I don't know what that gel stuff is. Okay, can't get through. Gonna have to take an alternate route. Can't get that way. A lot of scientists around. But that's no big deal. Okay, let's see. So I've, I've already explored those directions. I guess we gotta go up here. If this is also a secret area. What is this? Looks like we've stumbled into a secret cave. Yeah, so I think more than anything else, I'm impressed with this game visually. Like, it's got style. I'm not sure how much it's going to be. Kaylin Halas, thanks for rescuing me. But, wow, that is those are some nice portraitures. Like, I gotta say, the, the NPC portraits are gorgeous. I would love to see this studio do another game that's maybe a little bit deeper. Oh, there's a little exclamation mark to be like, you probably want to worry about that sort of thing. Careful, no need to rush against the little blinkers. Uh, especially because there's two of them. What do you mean, no need to rush against blinkers? Fuck. There we go. Okay, might as well grab that health and continue. Yeah, so I, got, I gotta watch them blinking. Because obviously... <laughs> Use the terrain against them. Man, that was tricky shit. But it worked! Uh, cheers up for the... Cheers for the pickup, mate. Mary Jane. But yeah, no, I am... I am digging this 
Oh, we don't want to leave yet. I don't know if we've gotten everything. But it's best that I check. Yep, thought so. We're not done. Scientist rescued. Okay. Do we have anything else around here? Doesn't look like it. But, uh, yeah, no, th this feels like pretty much sproggy wood. Kind of reminds me of Shattered Planet in a lot of ways. I think it reminds me of Shattered Planet more in the, the visual style and sproggy wood in the, just terms of the movement and combat and stuff like that. Or, or Crypt in the Necker Dancer. I guess I just say sproggy wood just because I played more sp sproggy wood. Well, did I get everybody? I have no idea. Either way, but yeah, the music is good, the vis visuals are great, the gameplay is simplistic, but it's kind of one of those where it's like there's a certain level of, like, pride you can have in, like, completely flying by the seat of your pants through one of those. Or, you know, taking it slow and thinking about what you're doing, and doing it right. Hello, a polybomb module. Press and hold space to drop a polybomb. Damage and stun nearby enemies. Is there... Is there a limit to the amount of polybomb I can use? What's the deal with all the polygel? Collect polygel to form a polybomb. Okay. Oh, I see. Let's get out of there. Flawless kill. Cool. This is working so far so good. So, yeah, the... Oh, I see. I need to collect quite a lot of those if I want to form a polybomb. So for the first section, it let me collect a lot of them. Section, second section, not so much, though. So. should remember, I can also just bump into these. Mother warned me about strange goo, but this stuff seems handy. All right. You're the space uber I ordered. Oh, well, fair enough. D buns. Okay. Yeah, so I don't think I'm going to be ranking particularly high in this game. But let's be serious here. I'm never going to be the kind of person that's aiming for a rank. I guess I was trying in Steradin, but this doesn't seem like the kind of game I'm particularly interested in, um... In ranking in. Ever. It's just fun. I think this will be kind of a nice little, little pleasant game to get through. Heavens, I was uh, out, uh, almost out of beard wax. Homie body, you don't have a beard. Okay, we're, we've missed the secret area, wherever it may be. Well, it's not over there. So I'm, I'm just going to go around exploring. Might as well take a look, right? Can't go through there. Interesting. Oh, it's probably over through this. Yes? Hello. Enemy infighting. I've never done that before. That's cool. That's that's a neat system. So you can you can actually get them to bite each other if you can get one to move. Okay. Oh, I see. Every two rows or maybe single rows, you fill up it gives you another poly gel. I like that. That's a nice system. Have we found out where the secret area is? Is there even one? I feel like there should be, but guess there's not. Yeah, we're definitely not going to rank just in terms of turns, but you know what? I'm here for science, not for speed. Sp Hashtag speed, speed, not science. Uh, sci science, not speed. There we go. I kind of wish the, the guy would just keep talking to you, though. I, I will admit, I really liked his, like, weird comments about his mother. Alright, doesn't look like there's a secret for this level. That's fine, no big deal. But yeah, so we've got a bomb module. I'm digging that. That makes, that's gonna make things interesting. Well, last field trip to this region, dot, dot, dot. Heard talk of the dreaded latch. She was preluding against a certain type of enemy. Hideous creep beast that grabs its prey with a slimy tentacle. All right. Oops. There we go. I was wondering what I was doing wrong there. There we go. Much obliged, Louis Pasta. The faces on all of these characters. Yeah, I would love to see like an RPG or something like that that involves just a bunch of these posters. Okay. No, 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 no. Okay, so the rumors were true. So that hurt a little. That hurt a lot. I'm not sure how you... 
how you're supposed to deal with them, apart from, I guess, bull rushing them before they have the chance to do more damage to you. Okay, I'm getting quite dizzy from all these upgrades. I'm not, I want a gun. Or something, I don't know. Okay, there's gotta be some way of latch attacks in real time. Yep, notice that. I do, I actually, yeah, that is, that is one thing that I'm, I'm actually really, Im yeah, be quick to dispatch it, okay. So it looks like I'm I'm doing the absolute right thing. Okay, he can go through the HP up. That makes sense. But yeah, the mixture of turn-based and real time I find to be Well, that was not as effective as I wanted it to be. I should have been faster with the polybomb the moment the moment I got stuck in there. Oh well, let's go back to looking for uh, secrets and stuff. But yeah, the the mixture of uh the mixture of Turn-based in real time is making this game much more interesting. Thought so. Knew there was going to be a scientist somewhere. And there we go. I'm betting there's only one secret area per. But, yeah. Requiring a player to think bo both that, you know, there's a real-time attack coming for you, but also, you know, turn-based sensibility. I, I don't think I've ever seen that before. I'm trying, I'm trying to think of things. Blue wall looks stiffer than my mother's lip. Maybe there's a way to get through it? We won't get through by bashing it. Oh, ouch, that spiky armor really hurts. Okay. Must be a way to blast the armor away. Maybe with Polybomb. It's gonna be expensive prospecting. Oh, there was a little secret in, in there. I like, I like all the secrets they're hiding around here. Like, you don't need them, I think. Like, as far as you, I can tell, you can pretty much get through this game without a single hello. What is this? The beam module! Okay, press and hold 1 to use the beam. Maybe this will come in handy against those tough rocks. Okay, the beam requires science to operate. Science restores over several turns. Okay, beam enemies from a safe distance. Rather good for enemies, too. I wonder if you can charge it up for multiple enemies along the way. Beam away its spiky armor. Does it charge any more? No. Okay. So it's it's just a one damage ranged attack. Let's lure him in a bit. There we go. Problem solved. Yeah. Now that actually works quite well. I'm digging that. I've drawn a f face on a rock and made friends with it. Fumido Takahashi. I'm loving the, the the posters for every character. It's kind of a neat system. Okay, I've got this unexplored area up over there. Let's go check that out. But, okay, so now we've got a laser module. I'm digging the upgrades. I'm, I'm glad it's not just move and hit things. Makes things much more interesting as far as I'm concerned. I, it'd be cool if you got, like, more science. I don't know what that thing in the top left is. What is this? Can I, can I interact with it? No, oh, one... Well, it means use the beam module. Remember, we can wait a few turns to restore science. I mean, I could. That is not wrong. I use the, I can use the beam to destroy multiple enemies at a time. Double kill. Let's see, so we got a science coming in. Science, a scientist, there we go. Perfect. How many scientists can we even fit on this thing anyway? Gusto! Gustav, thanks for saving me. Again. Haha, oh. <laughs> yes! Oh, that worked perfectly. Okay, and apparently those um stalactites do two damage unequivocally. That makes sense. All these scientists scattered across the surface. Oh shoot, why did I do that? I wasn't even paying attention. It must have been thrown clear of the explosion, same as me. I feel like I missed something in that one. Okay. Was there like a intro cutscene? I messed that one up. Oh well, not the end of the world. Let's just bump that. I think you can get multiple science charges after a certain point in this game too. Okay. 
It's working so far so good. Let's see, can I... Okay, there's gotta be a way to that. We know where it is. Oh, here, here we go. It's just tricky. A secret. Mother warned me against looking at secrets. There we go. Now here's the question. Does getting one of those heal me up uh, to full? Probably not. It does. Alright, cool. And max health has gone up by one. Nice. Especially secrets owned by somebody called Victoria. Cute. Okay. Let's get out of here. Yeah, the, the little quips are, are quite wonderful. So let's see, are we done with the level? Yeah, we're done with the level. Okay, did I go, get all the scientists? I did. And all the secrets. Perfect. I regret nothing. And apparently in ter terms of time, yeah, we're staying pretty consistent in terms of time and uh, turns used to get through all of this. There's a lot of people playing this game. And it's not even out yet. This game comes out on, uh, I want to say it comes out on Monday. Uh, this uh, Today's Saturday, so the 25th? Ish. I don't know. I'm I'm bad at uh, bad at tracking time here. But either way, I'm actually quite impressed with this game. I think I'm gonna do a full full playthrough. It's it's slick. It's got wonderful wonderful visual aesthetic. The music is nice and backgroundy. I love this like ending screen. I wish the A itself wasn't uh, beveled in a boss because it doesn't match the rest of the symbolism going on here. But whatever. Um, but overall, I'm just very pleased with uh, playing this game. It's it's simple. It's not too complicated, but that's not a bad thing at all. So, uh, let's see. Do I have the email that says how much this game is going to cost? I don't know. I do. It's just I did not... I didn't see a price tag attached. So, let's see. Nova 111. Press copy. Let's see. Nothing. Let's see. It gave me the Steam key. Let's check the press kit. Because, yeah, I'm going to bet this game is going to be about 10 bucks. Um, as it is, I'm not sure how many levels are left here. Let's press space, go out to the level select. Alright. How many do we have? I don't know, it, it shades them all. I do wish all these, oh, the levels are slightly different. I wonder if there's different biomes after a certain point. I love this level select though, it's quite pre pretty. Wish there was maybe a little bit more like in between, but still. Okay. Really? Wow. Okay, so the game is going to be 15 bucks. I'm not sure if it's totally worth that price, kind of depends on you. I have no idea how long the game is. That's part of the problem. If it turns out that it's only like a three hour game, 15 bucks might be a little steep. 10 bucks might be a little bit closer. Definitely pick this game up for five. And if you ever seen it in a humble bundle, I'd totally pick up the humble bundle. Um, but so apparently this game is coming out August 25th. Thought so. So that's, that's Monday for Steam, PS4, PS Vita, and PS3. And then uh, the 28th on the X Xbox One. And then eventually on the Wii U. Wow. They are, they are, uh, running the gamut as far as platforms to release this on. That's not a bad idea. I'm surprised they're not uh, thinking of putting this game on mobile, because I can see this game working quite well there as, as well. But overall, I'm impressed. The gameplay is simple, but you know, there's kind of a beauty in the simplicity. And speaking of beautiful, you know, the, the music is great and the visuals are even better. Um, so if you like a, a pretty little kind of pseudo puzzle combat game, this is going to be right up your alley. So I mentioned Crypt of the Necrodancer, Sproggy Wood, Shattered Planet. The, this fits right in with there, like all of those games. It's not a roguelike, but it has similar sensibilities, which I appreciate a lot. So I'm definitely going to keep playing it, especially if uh, people want me to, um, just because it's overall kind of enjoy enjoyable. It's it's just kind of a nice, relaxing game to play after a, a long day of, a day of streaming, at least as far as I'm concerned. So. If you like this impressions video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like. It helps more than you know. Uh, yeah, seriously. And it lets me know you want to see more. And, uh, well, if you want to see more Nova 111, or 111, I don't know, um, hit subscribe because I'm going to be doing more Nova, as well as uh, indie impressions videos, indie games, whatever. I mean, that's pretty much what my channel is. So, uh, I guess with that, I'll see you guys in the next episode of Nova 111, and as always, thanks for watching.